Yeah, I hate putting clothes away. They're clean. I just chuck them in there. Why? It's that time of the, time of the month again. We're going to go and see the clothes, man. So, step one. Root through your dresser. See if there's anything that doesn't fit anymore. Ladies, you're probably not going to slim down to that. Men, same thing. You can keep it as long as you like. Donuts taste good. Just a fact. Um, anyway, right, so, bag them up. This is massively important. Weigh it. So, let's see. Hovering around. Hold on. I'm shaking because I'm manually holding this. So, there you go. Uh, well, hovering around six. So, probably dump a couple of baby clothes in there. Just make sure it's over six because they're never going to be that accurate the scales to get used to actually give you the money. But it should be 80p a kilo. So, have I got the baby clothes downstairs? I'll shove a few in here. We'll probably have another bag. Um, I'm hoping to get about, what, 10 kilos. It's 8 quid. But as we're going out anyway today, I'm actually going past the guy. What the hell. Alright? So, baby clothes. I'll weigh them next. I was being lazy. I just didn't want to have to hang this up. Best way to weigh something <coughs> is just mount it. You know, all these fish weighers. Mount it here. And shove your back out. I'm stuck in a door frame. <laughs> Mainly because I'm lazy, but I didn't want to have to do this. But there you go. <clears throat> As you can see, little Samson says that it's on 6 kilos. I'd like the bottom part of that indicator just to be over the 6 kilos mark. Because obviously, you know, wear and tear, this is spring operated. So, wear and tear. This might not be as accurate as I think. And I can't be bothered busting out the bathroom scales, me getting on it, getting all depressed and whatnot, and <laughs> taking, subtracting my weight from me carrying this and me just being on it. You see what I mean? Follow that, that's great, don't follow it. Bang a fucking comment in. <laughs> yeah, first thing in the morning. Anywho, right, off to the baby clothes bit. Baby clothes, man. <whistles> Heavy. Alright, about to weigh the other one. <clears throat> that's just over six. So this. Just under 10. Let's hope he gives us 16. But if he gives us 15, we're happy. At uh, 80p a kilo, I return from Colossus and that is 12 English pounds. <laughs> right, so now here. And I have the little strimmer lawnmower thingy. So, let's see if he's in. Because he's not always in. Because, like many of us, he doesn't actually like working. Which I can respect. Well, I won't need 12 to 13 pounds. Well, 12 pound or 12 pound 80. That's what we're operating on here. Woohoo! My God! That fiscal turnover in scrapping is just immense, kids. So anyway, just where the green, sorry, orange even. Colour blind, man. Just where the orange sign is. Let's turn in and see if he's there. Don't let him see the camera. He might get spooked. As we get out of the prison gates, unfortunately, <coughs> The lovely people from immigration came and took him away, so uh, <laughs> no 80p a kilo for us. Best we're going to get now is maybe 50p a kilo, which changes it a little somewhat. So we're going to go off and have a nice day, probably take these home and just store them. Uh, if we can, we'll be great. If we can, we'll uh, sell them off at another time, but till now, this video will have to wait. Today is the 3rd of uh, September. So let's see how long it takes Paul to find another buyer. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But if you keep your eyes open, you find great big pieces of couple like this on the road. <laughs> anyway, till I can finish this video off, goodbye for now. Oh shit, that's why. Did you get the sign? Yes. Lovely. Right. <laughs> Sweating because we're uh, wrong way in traffic and all that kind of stuff. But that's all part and fun, isn't it? So, we've gone to see old Mr. Cohen. And he's very nice. He says, oh, well, yeah, yeah, he's gone, that guy. He'd either give you, like, 1280 or something like that. So instead of giving us 50 a kilo, he's just give us a tenner for the lot. He's checked it. He's happy with it. Uh, <laughs> he's a bit suspicious that I know exactly how much uh, we were weighing in. Well, that's just the sign of a good scrapper. You know what you've got. Or you'll get ripped off. Anyway, so, £10 in pocket. Too loud to get it hit, but hang on a second. So here's the interactive pack, kids. 
if you stop that and print it out, there you go, you've got as many tenors as you like. Mine now. Handing it over to Mrs. Pirate because she's the keeper of the money. <laughs> right, we're off to spend it now. Well, that's it. Ten quid. Got yourself a lovely bracelet. Dead thick. Look at that. Hey, you wouldn't buy that in the shops. Uh, adventure concluded. It's still the 3rd of uh, September. Woohoo! Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>